welcome to the book buzz brought to you Spit by <laughs> the peters township public library and i am miss shannon and i'm miss linda and we are back again to give you more information about the events coming up in our departments at the library yes for the most part our departments yes yeah every now and then we'll sneak in something else but we like to let everybody know so let's get going all right let's get going wake Sorry, up i'm waking wake up. up yep early, early miss shannon. start yep so we're going to start with library news from around the globe with Miss Linda. She's going to tell us a little bit about some current events or not so current events. <laughs> this is really from all around the world. Now it is about um, Halloween. So oh, Halloween. don't look at the bag. I'm not promoting anything. Halloween. Oh wait, Halloween. Well, I, I thought you know what? Halloween. I saw all these really fun Halloween. things. Um, this one still has a little thing in it. Of course, you get pink. I thought that this would be, you know how like we like to do costumes. Hey, hmm. how about we're not, you know what? And I got a call yesterday asking if we were doing the Halloween, the costume swap yeah. at the library this year, and they're not doing it this year. No, we're Here, just Here, you take that apart. This is short. yours. I thought this, this would be twofold. You can use it as a Halloween, little Halloween costume if you want. And if it gets chilly at night, you've got yeah. your little gloves. And then I and can then, always say, what does the fox say? What does it? Yeah. Well, here, look at then. You got the pink one, of course. When I saw it, I said pink. Where's Shannon? We're going to have all kinds of. Oh, I love it. And then, yeah, but you can wear it all season. So yeah. it's going to be more than just Halloween. Okay. All right. But it's getting us into the, the spirit. Yeah. Let's not hope that it's not like a, you know, getting what? us started in the cold weather, though. I'm not really quite ready no, for that. No, me neither. Yet. We got all kinds of. Are you getting your tags off? Yeah. You look good. You look good in yours too. Oh, I know. Look. <laughs> and now this is what's the. Yeah, yeah, I guess. If times were to need be. I guess. Okay. Get my pants All right. Yeah, off. I can change. I can turn page. All right. So now we are officially dressed for Halloween. All right. Ooh, I've got. And for our cold trick or treat night. And cold trick or treat night. A fox which and we're a panda. Talk about. Yeah. Nice. Well, we always do cute costumes, so this right. is it. Only today we're not trading. Okay. Okay. Well, good. I didn't want to trade. All right. So from around the world, did we spin that and everything? Yeah, I did. Okay. This is all about Halloween. Okay. Look it. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. Now you can do magic with it. There. You're just look. like, you should be in the school for peculiar children. I know. Look, I've got, a, I've got this dangly uh, paper clip. It's just... Hang in there. Woo. You know, Magician One America's got talent, so there you hey, go. Hey, let's can start in. with your pa ma magic love paper clip trick. Then I get to travel around the world. Yeah. Okay. Something. Halloween. Guess where it all started? I didn't even know this until I looked it up. I would never have guessed this, though. I would have thought like Transylvania or some place really creepy. Yeah. Ireland. Huh. Yeah. Ireland. Those of us, I'm Irish. I'm Irish. Yeah. Well, Shannon, my name's Shannon. No. Really? That's apparently everything in Ireland's name Shannon. From yeah, everybody's state. Shannon. Yeah. My friend and I, like, we flew uh, right into the Shannon Airport. I'm like, oh, that's me. Okay, go ahead. All right. It started in Ireland. That's where, <laughs> but they celebrate it like the United States, pretty much. Although they eat like this, this bam, bam brack, a kind of fruit cake that can be bought in stores or baked at home. It sounds interesting <laughs> all right they so they do what we do but here's some creepy things i never really thought about it because hallows eve and halloween you know it's all about the you know spirits and the yeah. dead and everything and what and there's some of them that actually want the dead to come around in here so um not me in particular <laughs> but i'm going to tell you what they want uh, here's what they want in austria some people will leave bread water and a lighted lamp on the table before retiring on halloween night it was once believed that this would welcome the dead souls back to earth on a night that us um austrians considered to be magical hmm. okay i'm like okay um Okay, in Belgium, in Belgium uh, they believe it's unlucky, of course, a lot of people do, for a black cat to cross one's path, also unlucky if, you should, if it should enter your home or travel on a ship. And um, the, the custom is to light candles in memory of dead relatives, okay? Canada, they do what we do, you know, trick-or-treat, Halloween, pumpkins, corn stalks, all of that. Okay, in China. 
wasn't it was it china that was the thing with green eggs and ham yeah. that banned green mm -hmm. eggs and ham boy they have got the um, oh, Chinese we're translated bring it. green eggs and ham in our library so we have the band yeah band. we have the band version that's mm -hmm. right okay well in China uh, food and water are placed in front of photographs of family members who have departed while bonfires and lanterns are lit in order to light the paths of the spirits as they travel the earth on Halloween night. I just heard a big boom coming from there you yeah. think it was one of these spirits did you I, I did uh oh you know, like when you move your Ouija oh, board? Oh, I feel a sneeze coming. <laughs> 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 like the Ouija board. I was scared of that. It worked, uh, I, I think. You know, yeah. like the kids. Like, oh, I'm not pushing it towards the A. <laughs> you know, just spell out, you know, whatever. You know, your nerves. I don't know. All that kind of stuff kind of creeps me out. Oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't like stuff do, dealing with that. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. Okay, so they would uh, do the purpose of they would make uh, boats from paper, some of which were large, and some they were burned in the evening hours. The purpose of this was a remembrance of the dead in order to free the spirits in order that they may ascend to heaven, which is okay. Then uh, that's where I'd like to see them all in heaven do you know france um does not uh does not celebrate halloween it's not celebrated in order to honor the dead and departed ancestors they've made it more of american holiday and here's what it says too i would like this one celebrated by costume people of all ages going to parties at friends homes restaurants bars or clubs yeah yay french yeah here's to the french they know <laughs> how to do it all right so I was going to skip over. I told you a couple. Of, ooh. Oh, in Germany, I'll do this. I was just going to tell you some funny statistics. In Germany, the people put away their knives on Halloween night. The reason for this is because they do not want to risk harm to or from Michael Myers, the, retur <laughs> the returning spirits. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's creepy. Yeah. All right. I like these gloves for changing. Okay. So it's kind of. All right, I'm just going to do a funny thing. I just talked about all these. Like, Okay, let's talk about top costumes. Now, you and I, we, we like doing costumes on yeah, Halloween. Yeah, let's not talk about what we're doing, though, because it's a surprise. No, we're, we're not be. talking. To, we can't give our surprises away. We were all crayons last year. We can talk about that. Yeah, was, that's true. That was fun. That was cute. Okay, so what would you guess? Okay, this is from last year. What would you guess the number one costume for children? Of last year? Yeah. Maybe something like with Frozen. No, that had been probably the year before that. Um, actually, that's not too far. Uh, it's kind of... I don't know. Action or superheroes. Superheroes, okay. Number two, Batman. Number three, Animals. Number four, Spider-Man. Number five, character from Star well, wait. Wars. Rewind. Spider-Man and Batman are both superheroes, I know. Too, so I don't know why. So why are they not classified in that? Oh, yeah. It, for number two, Batman character or a princess they tied. But then down here for number eight, it said Disney princess. Yeah. Then ghosts, pirates. Okay. For an adult, I was looking at these. We haven't done any of these, I don't think. A witch. We haven't been witches. Yeah, no, not as a team. Char yeah, not Patty's as a team. Patty's been a witch by herself. Character from Batman. Nope. Animal. We have had Batman come to the library, though. Yes, this is true. A pirate. Superheroes, vampires, zombies, more superheroes, villains, Wonder Woman. There we go. Okay, and then the last one I'll say, because you need to know this, for pets. Do you, do you dress up your pets? Um, I've, I've tried. Your they, dog? I'm not really keen on it. Guess what the number one pet costume is? I don't know. Pumpkin. Oh, cute. Number two, hot dog. Yeah, I like the hot dog one of the little yeah. ones. That's really cute on a wiener dog, though. That's the only way they pull it off. <laughs> that's true. Oh, that's funny. It's a great part. Um, then dog, lion, or pirate, a bumblebee, devil, character from a Batman movie, ghost, cat. Batman's really big on which, Halloween, Which, yeah, I'll say, in, or a character from a Star Wars movie. So what would you do? Dress well, I had like a Yoda, your dog I had a Yoda, I had, I'm not a Star Wars fan, but it, because it was on clearance, I bought it. I had a Yoda costume for my dog at one point. Oh, did you? Mm -hmm. There was a Yoda Joke it's, I just it's saw funny yesterday. Cause, like, she had those long floppy ears, and then she had the Yoda ears sticking out. But the, Juno will do it. Juno's come to the library dressed up as superheroes and stuff. I've had a superhero. When we really? when our theme was superheroes for some reading, I brought her in as in her superhero cape. Really? Zoe's not a fan of it. 
Are you going to dress Copper up? No. To be a horse? And put a saddle yeah, on. he's good. Uh, you know, he is a horse. <laughs> My dog is a horse. I'll put maybe antlers on him or something. Or, I don't know. Whatever. There was a joke I just read, and I'm sitting here like while you were talking. Not that I wasn't listening. Trying to think <laughs> of this joke, a Yoda joke, and it was something like, okay, what was, um, what was Yoda's last name? Leahy who? Yoda <laughs> Leahy who? Get it? Yoda Leahy who? I just saw that yesterday. So funny you should bring up Yoda. But even yesterday when I was reading it, I had to sing it in my head. Yoda Leahy who? Oh, yeah, of course. Because I'm like, Leahy who? I don't remember what the joke was. It was something I'd seen on Facebook or something. And I was trying to tell it to Justin. I was like, oh, did you see whatever so-and-so shared it? And I'm trying to tell it to him again. Yeah. And then I missed it. I, I totally oh, I'm horrible <laughs> at telling jokes. That's why it I had to like, think. That's not really funny. I'm like, it was really funny. And then instead I go back and read, I'm like, oh, because like, it was like a pun on words, and I didn't use the pun like at all. Oh, <laughs> oh. All right. Well, well. So for me, a lot of times the joke is the fact that I mess it up. So the funny, the punchline is actually myself. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm horrible at jokes as well. I but am. you got good on your lady who. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it took me 15 minutes to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, go ahead. Get you it. took off your gloves. Yeah, they were a little bit short on me. Oh, okay. All right, but so go ahead. I still like the color. That's all right. We'll just keep our hats on. Okay, so you can go ahead and start. Go ahead and toss it Oh, off. Chess, Mr. Mr. Pete. Chess with the champion. I love him. Mr. I call Mr. Pete. Chess with the champion. I'll tell you what. They're calling and asking for him. He's oh, such good. a nice guy. He is a, uh, he really is a chess champion, R you know, really yeah. has won um, awards or trophies or whatever they give out for <laughs> chess champions, right? You know, I'm sure it's more than it's, what? Free coffee at Starbucks yeah. and stickers. Yeah, certificate <laughs> suitable for framing. It's all, it's all good. No, sorry, Mr. Pete, we love you. No, he's um, champion, yes. But he's coming on uh, the 16th. That's all, he, he comes on when? Is Wednesday night or is that a Tuesday night? He does Tuesdays. Tuesday nights at 6.30. And you know what? These kids really learn. We have, you don't even have to bring, it's like, oh, nice. Um, you don't even have to bring chess sets. We have all these chess sets. The kids come in. You, he pairs you up and sets you and teaches you how to play chess. Yeah. And chess, it feels like it's like the comeback game. You know, everybody's. Yeah, maybe. You know, learning to do it. I, I used to know how to play. I stunk at it. Like, not, I used to know how to play like I knew the moves, but strategy, why do I have to have a strategy? I just want to move them and go, right. oh, this goes here. Yeah. Or, oh, look, I can make this move. Right. It has nothing to do with, oh, yeah, you just, you know, put me in checkmate. Right. You know. No, I don't know how to play. Anyway. But it's awesome that the kids are learning. They are. And you know what? Another library program. Figure it out. It's free. Right. Can you believe it? You're getting free chess lessons. Right. It's pretty cool. He's a good guy. All yeah. right. On. So we're starting something completely new in the library. Um, first time I've ever done it. I've seen it on, on Pinterest and different library program things that I follow. And so now we're finally going to do it. And I should have brought a fun prop, but I didn't. That's okay. But we are going to have a set up an entire mini golf course indoors inside of our library. So you'll be like playing putt-putt throughout the entire first floor of the Fun. library. Um, we're going to have holes set up like in the stacks and in the play area, maybe in the lobby. So you can call in Fun. and sign up. We're going to have it running from 10 to 2, but we'll have um, designated tea times, just like we do for pause for reading. But when you have, anytime you golf, you have to get signed up right. for a tea time. Cute. So that way we're not all doing it at this. And then depending on the amount of people, we might do a shotgun start with the tea times, but we're trying to figure that out depending mm -hmm. on our, our, our How are you going to divide up all the thousand kids that yes. register? Because this sounds like a blast. It Whoever does golf like through their library. Right. Okay. So also, if you are a golfer or not, um, but may or may not have putters lying around and they can be plastic toy putters or real putters or whatever that you would like to either donate to the library or we can put your name on them and we can just borrow them for this program. We would be really, really appreciative of that. So please give us a call. Um, come see us. Cup, I, I am already, mm -hmm. somebody from the Peter Center Pass Along is giving us one. So please let us know um, if you have any um, golf clubs you'd like to, that you'd be willing to share. Oh, you for know this. what? BYOP. 
Bring your own putter. Yeah, bring your own putter. Right. Well, I like we'll get them. We'll get them somehow. Yeah, we will. But if you have one, you could bring it. Yes. All right. That took me well, another people, 10 minutes to think of. Some people <laughs> are uh, very attached to their own clubs. That's true. You know? Yeah, if there really are golfers. Right. You know, that, why not? Yeah. So it's for all ages, but I'm encouraging for families to come, you know, and now that it's getting colder, you can't really go to a regular mini golf course as, as easily. So come to the library yeah. and play mini golf on October 27th. Okay. That does sound fun. That really does. All right, and if that wasn't fun enough, just in case that wasn't riveting enough, then you can come to my Boo Bash, Boo -bash, Boo -bash Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> Isn't that so fun? Yeah. I just like the name of it. I, I think I, I just came up with that because I like the name of it. So yeah, I thought, oh, I, I, I like love the, a good alliteration. I always yeah, have. Yeah, Boo Bash Bingo. Boo Bash Bingo. All right, we're going to do it. It's with the kids. It is a, a Monday evening, of course, uh, you Miss Linda night. And it's at 6.30 on the 29th, so that is like two days before Halloween. Yep. We're going to do Boo Bash Bingo. We're going to have Boo Halloween bingo. treats, some yep. good things to eat, and play lots of rounds of bingo and have some fun prizes. And I'm even going to tell a spooky story. You have to do a story. Oh, I yeah. thought, i got to do something spooky. Have some spooky music in the background, of Ooh. course. And we'll just have fun playing some bingo and eating some snacks, winning some prizes, and, and just being festive yes. as our. Yeah. We're not calling back spirits that are not inviting them. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing anything that some of those other countries do. I'm keeping it very American. And you know what? I just thought of this. Feel free to dress up. They yeah, could dress absolutely. up and come. Yeah. That would be so much fun. Yeah. I'll wear my hat. Oh, you'll have, you'll be wearing something. Yeah, you but yeah, you know, it's always costumes. something. <laughs> <laughs> so Boo Bash Bingo. Boo Bash October Bingo, yeah. Monday, October 29th, 6.30, be there, win prizes, have fun, and eat. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to, this is coming oh, up this in is November. Pretty cool. it yeah. is, it's a very special opportunity that we have. Um, we are partnering with our friends at WQED. They were awarded a grant um, that's supposed to, that's um, the purpose of this grant is to um, provide family engagement opportunities to um, veterans, particularly post 9 11 vets and their, and their young families. Um, so, we are having a special program at our library called Welcome Home Celebrating Veterans and Their Families on Saturday, November 10th, so Veterans Day weekend from mm -hmm. noon to two. We're going to have all kinds of just really fun family things going on. We're also going to have some special um, crafts and things that the kids can make um, with their veteran that they have with them. But really just a time to get the family together and have some fun. So we're going to have a magician. We have a caricature performing. We're going to have a um, barbecue food truck. I just found out it's going to be able to come. Oh, cool. And also, the, what partly what I'm mostly excited about is we are having Katarina Kitty Cat, which is one of Daniel Tiger's BFFs, is going to be joining us. Um, That's cool. We've been really big on Mr. Rogers with the 50th anniversary, and you know if you know anything about Mr. Rogers or mm. da Daniel Tiger is a complete spinoff of Mr. Rogers. All the characters in Daniel Tiger somehow connect to the original Land of Make Believe characters. So Katarina is um, Henrietta Pussycat from the original series Daughter. Mm -hmm. So and they live in the treehouse. So she will be coming, so you can come and meet Katarina. We're also going to have Magician Al Mazing, which is a local magician here in the South Olympics. I love Pittsburgh. magicians. I know. Oh, I love being yeah. mystified. Yes. So by his how name is Al Mazing. So we're really excited about that. Okay. So you can grab a lunch. We're going to have other refreshments as well. So just a really fun Saturday um, afternoon to, with your family. So fun. come to, to that on November 10th. And I'll talk about that again next month as well but yeah. i just wanted to get a little quick give the heads up get a, get, yes a little save the date for you sounds good yes all right um halloween town yes i feel like i've seen that you have i'm have sure have i yeah so halloween Who's in town that? oh oh i'll think De of it is it Deb debbie reynolds is that something yeah yeah yeah, it is. Is that. yeah that's okay um yes. so was, i think it was a disney channel like original but halloween town is a really fun halloween movie mm-hmm um, that we're going to be showing in the spirit of Halloween Fun. on um, Thursday the 18th, 6.30, Family mm -hmm. Movie Night. 
with Miss Shannon or somebody else because I'll be on vacation. <laughs> but oh. free popcorn is the best part of our Hello. movie nights. Oh my gosh, with best the real popcorn, popcorn in Peters Township. I've for always free. said that. Yep. Yep. So come get some free popcorn. Maybe we'll have some other special Halloween treats as well since mm -hmm. it's Halloween week will be coming up at, not long after that and watch Halloween Town which there's actually been a sequel so if you really like it you can then check the sequel out oh true Halloween 2 returns to I don't know I wonder if I've ever seen that one I don't know if I've ever seen the second one I, I don't, don't know I don't remember I don't know but but it's kind of a fun time of yeah. year just oh, yeah. like fun and silliness right, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we I mean, when show, else can you wear? We always show caps. Hocus Pocus or Casper so I decided to throw something No I think there. that's a good idea Halloween Town all right, Let's did you talk bring about some, some Halloween good stuff. Halloween? Yeah. Okay. I have some spooky. So this one, this is um, the first book in a, the, let me find the correct title of the, <gasps> of the series. Is that part of? Book one of the Dreamhouse Kings series. Um, we've had it on our shelves for a while. But really? you can tell it's a little bit worn. But I just kind of discovered it, and oh, it looks creepy. Is it? So yeah, so when the kings move from L.A. to a secluded small town, 15-year-old Xander is beyond disappointed. He and his friends love to create amateur films, but the tiny town of Pinedale is the last place a movie buff and future filmmaker wants to land. But he, David, mm. and Toria are captivated by the many rooms in the old Victorian fixer-upper they moved into, as well as the heavy woods surrounding the house. They soon discover there's something odd about the house. Sounds come from the wrong directions. Ooh. Prints of giant bare feet appear in the dust. And when David tries to hide in the linen closet, he winds up in locker 119 at his new school. Then the really weird stuff kicks in and they find a hidden hallway with portals leading to far off places in long ago times. Mm. Xander is starting to wonder if this is kind of travel is a teen's dream come true or his worst nightmare. And there's actually in the part of the book, there's even a map of the house, mm. which I always loved a book that has a map in it. I don't even really, really care for maps. But I remember when I was little, I read the book series a lot, which no kids are going to know this anymore, called Sweet Pickles. Do you remember Sweet Pickles books? Mm -mm. They were big in the like late 70s, early 80s. And they always would have a map on the, of the town of the Sweet Pickles. And I just remember huh. just sitting there and just looking at this map. And like look, like look, I loved looking to see like where the... All the different where things Where the stuff was. So um, this is the map of their house. With, and it probably tells you like where the secret portholes are and stuff like that. You so know I what think I think of fun. when I see that? I think of the uh, game Clue. Oh, yeah. It right. was in the ballroom with right. the wrench, and it was Mr. Plum. Yeah, Colonel right? Mustard. Yeah. yeah, Colonel Mustard. Yeah, that's so, what that reminds me of. So this is a series. I believe it's a trilogy. So this is the first book and the Dream House Kings. So this is the House of Dark Shadows. You know what else that... Uh, the first thing I thought of when you pulled that up there was there used to be a soap opera a hundred years ago called Dark Shadows. Oh. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you didn't even know that. Oh boy, I'm old. Okay, Dark Shadows. That was that was House a of Dark Shadows. Yeah. You can see even this creepy little dark shadow in the window. Yeah. Kinda looks like he's like waving. Yeah, oh, the creepy little like finger. Amityville horror oh, kind yeah. of thing. Okay, <laughs> all right. Everybody knows Goosebumps. I know. I love Goosebumps. Who doesn't know Goosebumps? Oh my gosh! Just even looking at the covers and the little kids that come in and they go, "Do you have Goosebumps?" <laughs> and they want to go. And this doesn't. It's not like there's like pictures in these or anything. But they, you can follow them up with the movies. Yeah. You know, have the things. You oh. know, these are like villains you want to have. The books you have to read. Stephen is a big, oh, just talk about your magic. Stephen is a big fan of magic. The problem is that most of his tricks come at the expense of his friends, Ava and Courtney. The girls decide to get their revenge on Stephen by tricking him into drinking a strange mixture of chemicals. Oh, that's mean. Stephen starts to feel weird. Either his toothbrush is growing or <laughs> he is shrinking. The world feels like a much bigger place when you're only nine inches tall. <laughs> Will Stephen be able to make it through his gigantic house to find help? And even if he does, will he ever be back to his normal size again? This huh. is everything that we fear. Oh, yeah. Goosebumps. Looks that, they're creepy. They I, are. You Look know, at and these. You talked about the movies. I remember it was made for TV, and then, they, of course, now it's on DVD. But yeah. when I was a kid, they, the first Goosebumps movies that came out, 
was the haunted mask. I think it was called on this girl. It's Halloween and she gets this like, she puts this mask on it, like gets stuck to her oh, face yeah. and she becomes this like monster. To this day, that movie creeps me out. We will never be showing the haunted mask at the library. That was creepy. Is it kind of like Jim Carrey's The Mask? Yeah, but a creepy version. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Do you have another scary one? Yeah. Because we only have a couple so minutes. So this one, we, well, we talked about I showed the the Disney villain series. I found this. This is so creepy. Twisted fairy tales. And we've talked here in this oh. show about fairy tales and how the original version right. of fairy tales tend to be creepy. This book is so cool. It's all illustrated. Look, it's beautiful. Oh, that is cool. Uh, but um, but all oh. these twisted yeah. fairy tales. But like every page, just like look how pretty this book is. Like it's just a nice. Um, Ooh. Let's see. That is cool. It's very creepy. And then let's see who's that. There's Snow White. She's got her sword. Oh, yeah. It's a bloody there's, sword. There. Oh, oh yeah. That's. Oh. But, um, okay. The bone that's whistle. a little gruesome. Yes. But it's for teens. So that's yeah. whatever. But um, yeah. So this is a really. It's all short stories. So you can kind of pick and choose too if you don't nice. want to read all of them. But um, open this book, but only after you've prepared yourself for a shock. Most of these tales have titles that are familiar enough, but you'll be astonished by the unexpected twist of plot and sister characters whose dark shadows are more than a touch to the stories you once thought you knew. Oh. So. oh. Crazy, creepy. Yeah. Linger over the mysterious. Oof. All right, let's, okay, yeah, moving on. Man. We'll just add to that. I love Neil Gaiman. Yeah. He's so creepy. Well, everybody knew Neil, Neil Gaiman from Coraline. Right. And then he had the book, and of course, there's a Coraline movie. Yeah. Then he came out with, oh, do you have a new, oh. I the oh, good, I I'm the glad you brought that. the graphic novel of The Grave. So the Graveyard is, book. See how creepy this really yeah. is. Yeah. They came out with the graphic novel version of it. The great, I, I liked it. I, I was surprised. I didn't book. think that I would like it. Um, it was just like, eh, it's not really my thing. I really, wow, it was, he's so good. He is. The graphic novel is pretty graphic. I bet sorry it's in the teen room. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. All right. Well, comment. Not as much left to the imagination. You can, yeah, you can check out the graveyard book, but the we graphic the one, graphic you have novel. to go to the. The teen, the teen. So Neil Gaiman, he's good for scary movies or scary books if you're looking for yep. one. Coraline, the graveyard book. Um, I know we have like a few seconds. You want to do one? Show me one of your fun picture books real quick. All right, here. We were talking about wiener dogs. The Halloweener. The Halloweener. <laughs> the Halloweener. Dave Pilkey. Yeah, who been. doesn't like Dave Pilkey? Right. And you know what? I was going to bring a prop. You know what I was going to bring? And I have it at home, but then I, I realized... I was going to bring you a hot dog and a bun. Oh. And, and say, here's our Halloweener. Except for, I had a bun out, except for the hot dogs were in the freezer. Oh. <laughs> so I could have put a bolt back in there. <laughs> the Halloweener, everything you need. I mean, there's nothing scarier than a dog that looks like a hot dog, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Oh, so we'll end on, we're going to end on the Halloweener, right? I think that's a good ending. All there. right. Yeah. Happy, ha happy Halloweener by yeah. Dave Pilkey. Yep. See you next time. Happy right. Halloween.